fucking drone. What the hell? Get away, stop spying on us. Whew, okay. Hey guys, my name's Sarah and I thought I'd do a fun little video on the thrift finds that I found in the last three months. Auckland at the moment is in a little bit of a weird space. We're on lockdown at the moment and uni's been cancelled, the gyms are closing, so no job there. I got a part-time job last week that's had to be cancelled. Shit's just kind of going a little bit crazy, but you know what? There is such thing that is called retail therapy. That is what I'm going to be doing today. I have about 30 things here that I've bought over the last three months, so get comfortable, grab a cuppa, and we'll get into it. Enjoy the ride. Some of the things I bought were in Auckland, and then some of the things that I bought were in Japan. There is a lot to get through, so I'll just try and pump them out as fast as I can. We bought this blouse. I bought this blouse. It's this beautiful watercolored grandma style top. It's got the most horrendous plastic buttons, but it is super nice and the texture is really cool. Really cool just as is or cropped. So unique and colorful. That was $5 from like a Red Cross. Another thing that I got was this really ugly blouse as well. Lots of frills at the front, but kind of makes the boobs look good, so like I'm not mad. Tied up, definitely. I didn't know that um, Jeep did a brand of clothes, but I guess it does now. That was also $5. I got a very similar one, and I wasn't going to keep this, but I actually quite like it. It's another kind of school teacher ish top, but the cool thing about this was it was 100% silk. Tied up as well. I think that was like three bucks, so. Not mad. Now this one's really cool. When I bought it in summer, I couldn't really wear it because it was quite thick and unbreathable. But now that it's starting to get a bit colder, I can. It's this seaweed textured top. I'm just making that up. I don't know. It's high necked, very um, slim fitting, super interesting um, texture. It just looks really cool. Like I've never seen anything like it. I think this was about 10 or $12 from Save Mart. This top I actually bought for my mum, but she didn't end up liking it, so I guess it's mine now. I bought this from the Takapuna Markets. It's this orange button-up shirt. It's by the brand The Commoners, and I think they do pretty good stuff. It's a very soft um, cotton, I think, and just tied up, just as a really casual shirt. Nothing too exciting, but I think, yeah, that was $5. This one's really fun. It is this green blouse. I don't know, frills is like a thing with me these last few months. As you can kind of see, it's got that little bib um, dressing. Made in New Zealand. I think it is synthetic fabrics. Show sweat patches really easily, which sucks because I sweat all the time. It was just such a unique color and such a unique style that I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta get this. I think that was like 10 or 12 bucks as well. So the next one I have here, I was actually gonna buy to sell on to see if anyone wanted to like price it up because business mind. But then I actually got too attached to it and didn't wanna let it go. It's this Ralph Lauren frilled blouse. Some people would hate this, but I love it. It reminds me of those old school movies. It's like a quite a yellow um, tinted fabric. I wish it wasn't like that, but you know. It's still freaking cool. So that was eight dollars, I think. When I saw this piece, I was just like, "Oh yeah, it's it's so yeah, it's cool." Until I turned to the back of it, and I was like, "Holy shit! I need to get that in my life. I need to get those on my leg." It's the skirts. So it's a skirt on the front, and then shorts on the back. It's maroon, so it's not great quality at all. But it is so exciting and yellow and just. Shorts are life, my man. These are cool. They were like seven bucks as well. This was one of the more expensive things that I've purchased, but I'm really glad that I did it. I have worn them like every day since then. It's these blues denim shorts. They're high-waisted, but they're not tight. They come down just above mid-thigh. They just look and feel so good. It was so worth the, the 40 or 45 dollars that I paid for them. I think I got those from the Magic Hollow. Um, I would recommend looking there if you're ever looking for like good quality stuff. Okay, now this one I don't think I will probably ever wear unless I go to like a 20s party, but it's this long David Lawrence vintage dress. It does look really good on, but I just don't have anything to wear it to. But I saw it and I was like, oh, I just gotta get it. This was $10 from the Takapuna markets. This one I wore 
all throughout summer. I actually didn't realize that it was like an extra large until I looked at the label after I purchased it. It's this long frill daisy flower dress. It's super loose. I think if it was any tighter then you would be able to see the underwear lines, which is not cool. It's just super flowy and just breathable. Oh yeah, and this was about $26 from the Dove store, so it was a little bit more expensive. So when I bought this skirt, I thought I would always be associated with a hippie every time I wore it, which is not a problem at all. It is this long bohemian skirt, and it's got a little bell at the front. So everyone can hear where I'm coming. I think this is about $7. It's a little bit sheer, so you gotta wear nice underwear underneath. It's very breathable and it just it just feels nice. Now that was all the like the easy stuff. Now I have to get onto all the hard stuff. We're not even halfway. I was really excited about getting these jeans. You always have to have like a staple black pair of jeans in your wardrobe, I feel. And I just have never found one that is my style. Well, that fits well because it's really hard to find jeans that fit. But I found these in the men's section. It's these black denim a little bit loose fitting like mum jeans high waisted it does have like a little bit of extra room around the crotch area i think these were only like nine dollars so <laughs> i've worn them so much ever since honestly i think this is the best purchase that i have made from the whole last three months because they were only a dollar and it fits so well it's these high waisted blue mixture of cotton and something else pants on the back it doesn't have any pockets but it's got this a uh, really nice um detailing that makes the butt look so good ah. Ah. i'm just so excited yeah and those were only a dollar from like this church charity store which is like you never find nice things there, but I did. Okay, I am mostly done with the Auckland stuff. We're just gonna move on to the Japan stuff now. This is actually a men's long sleeve, but it's this multicolored overthrow. I'll probably just wear it over something. I guess you could wear it by itself and just tie it up. It's so nice, thick but soft cotton and just super fun as well. I love the orange in it. I don't know how much this was in yen. Maybe it was like, $20. I've worn this piece so much since I've come back from Japan. It's this cropped jumper So it sits like or just around the belly button just a little bit lower But the sleeves are pretty cool in the way that they're like thick and like batwing ish It's just like super easy to just chuck on over. I think that was like $8 $10. The next thing that I got was this long sleeved white top. It's very stretchy. So this is Forever 21 so it's not like amazing quality but at the same time it was five dollars and the cool thing is is that it's got these loose open arms. Yeah that was only five dollars. I find it really hard to find a cardigan which you can just throw over. That actually looks good because otherwise they're too nano-ish or they're the ones that just kind of go all the way over. But I found this really nice cardigan. Oh my god there's so much hair on this. Um just plain black but as you can see here it's kind of ribbed a little with specks of white. It's quite thick and it's made of wool and a mixture of other merino stuff so it is really warm and it's perfect for what I want. So here's the exciting part, we're moving on to the pant section. I got these shorts and I have lost both of the buttons for them already. So it's these green shorts, corduroy, as you can see there. These are super fun. I saw the color and I saw the fabric and I was just like I need you in my life. It does kind of look like a jester kind of pants because they go out. It's not like a, a hugely flattering piece. I just want this. I think this was like, I don't know, maybe $15? I'm just guessing at this stage. So I bought these pants at the beginning of my thrift shopping in Japan and I wish I had waited a little bit longer because literally the next shop over I found like a better version. I might keep it, I might sell it, just depends on if I wear it or not. It's these black corduroy pants. And the only reason why I'm like slightly hesitant on them is that they're not high-waisted. They come just below the belly button. It's just so much nicer when it falls above the belly button. And those are a bit more expensive. I think these are about $30. So if you are keen and interested, uh, just hit me up and you can, you know, purchase them, maybe. These I got, they were about $15, I would say. Pretty casual, pretty fun. These blue jean pants they've got like a little flare at the end or bootleg 
with the frayed edges. It doesn't like shape the bum like amazingly, but at the same time, I kind of like feeling like a slob. I really love these pants. They bring me so much happiness and the only thing that I don't like about them is they don't have any belt holes. So it is these pink corduroy wide legs. Oh my God. See like stuff like this, it's so hard to find in like Auckland or New Zealand. So corduroy there. Oh, just Marie Kondo my life. Bring me joy. Yeah, and those were only like 15 bucks as well. Now, these ones are pretty cool. $5, just found them on the rack outside, but they look so, so good. It's these green khaki pants. So they're also a little bit corduroy. And it does look pretty plain, but for $5, it holds the waist really well and it holds the butt really well. I am not mad at that. How's your cuppa going? Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I actually got this top as well from Japan. I will shimmy myself to the screen so you can see. But as you can see there, it's got like flower detailing down the sides and a little collar at the front. I wasn't too sure about getting this, but then I got it and I really like it and the color. I'm mostly just getting on to like coats and jackets now. I don't know, for some reason, I always have wanted a matching coat and skirt or a coat and pants. Found this one and I'm not 100% certain on it. I think it's a little bit too much. The coat or the jacket is this plaid. This is the skirt and it is a freaking mission to get this on. It is so tight. I'm not sure if you can wear these together, maybe only on special occasions, but it kind of works. But that's wool and it was $35 for both of them, I think. I never thought that I could find a denim jacket that like, I would actually love and wear. It's like this oversized, very soft, very worn obviously, denim jacket. It's like oversized and it just feels really nice on and the pockets are great. It's just like everything that you'd want. I think that was only about $20. All right, last, last few things. So these two things I bought in Auckland. This one is a corduroy coat. It's old vintage max and I think this was about $12. The corduroy is a little bit worn and I try to sharpie it in but it didn't really work. I think I'm gonna try and take the, the buttons off because otherwise it just looks a bit weird. I think it's pretty cool and I hope that I do wear it. I'm still a little bit uncertain at this stage because it might be just too feminine um, but we'll see. This one I bought to sell on because I saw it and I was just like holy shit this is freaking grandma love life right here. But again, I got very attached to it. This green like merino wool jumper that is way too oversized. It's like an extra, extra, extra large. I found like an old tissue in one of the pockets. So definitely know it's authentic. I think this is only like six bucks from like a Red Cross. I love it with all my heart and I would not want to give this one away. The scarf was actually the most expensive thing that I bought in Japan. I looked it up online um, before I bought it and actually it sells for like $200. So I was like $50 is, yeah, it's okay. It's just like a navy blue. It's got a little bit of stuff on the end. But yeah, I've worn it a few times and it's great. Sorry, the camera just died. But I'll show you the last thing that I bought, which was this bag. So this was a red corduroy bag. Just a bucket one on the side. And I think this was about $15. It's a little bit inaccessible and like a little bit annoying to carry, but it's also just very fun and very exciting. So I think that is everything that I bought in the last three months. It's really sad because I won't be able to go out for the next month and buy any more, but um, I'm sure that stock will last me a while. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Just find something that you enjoy. Take this as an opportunity to, to work on yourself and to slow things down. Maybe read a book, watch a movie, go through your wardrobe and just pull out everything that you own and style it all. Much love, much kisses. Love you all. Bye.